everybody reads, everybody listens. Why? To know, to be consoled, to want information, to be stimulated. to have a kind of way out, to be satisfied. For self-fulfillment, for betterment, why do you read? We feel obliged to read. Because we are interested in something, a topic, a subject. We study in order to get qualifications. Why do we read? Why do we listen to others? Not always listening. Very few people really listen unless there's something they want to know. Adidar wrote a lot, didn't he? Thousands and thousands and thousands of words explaining this, that and the other. He spoke a lot. What was he speaking? More words. Attention goes on the words. Attention goes on what one hears. We are victims of our ability to hear and ability to read. What if you didn't have any more of Adidas' words to read? No more of his talks to listen to. But you had this one instruction. Forget yourself and remember me. So forget your ability to read, forget your interest in reading in a particular subject. Sacrifice that destiny. It all comes from this. You are moved to read. Because something's happening in the body-mind that moves you, which is the result of this. You might be disgusted with something. You might like to share tittle-tattle, gossip. You are only left with that instruction, forget yourself and remember me. How much of your day is forgetting of yourself and remembering the divine reality? As Franklin Jones, he didn't have all that he had written to study like we have. However, whatever, as he has said, it's not 
the teaching. It's not the way, like a dog chewing on a bone. Look at James Steinberg. He's had an accident. I believe he's bedridden. Car accident. He's having, he's been put into a situation where he can't do his usual thing. I exercising his interests. in spiritual matters, studying the traditions. Adida has told him many times what he does, what he does is not the way. He's obsessed. Only the only way out is this transcending of the body mind and its patternings towards self fulfillment in any guise. Where are you right now? Where is your feeling attention right now? Do you, as Adida would say, love me? Capital M, me. Are you sacrificing? that normal tendency to want to know, to want to be stimulated. Is God, real God, reality with a capital R, more attractive? And your pathetic nonsense of wanting to know more and more. One can quite easily read and listen from this disposition. But from this disposition, you don't grasp hold of what you read. You don't go away like a dog chewing on a bone. From this disposition, everything you read is fresh. It's not tainted with ego. You may have read it hundreds of times before, but from this disposition, it's as if it's the first time. Are you in this disposition? Are you in love? Are you already happy? Do you use the image, the body human form of Adidas Sandraj as an agent to the divine? Do you wait for it to happen? Or are you truly gravitating away from this to this right now? No matter what's arising, right now. Pleasurable oneness with all that's arising, 
right now. Do you stand alone with what Amidal calls me? Are you there? Are you able to function from this place? Do you want to function from this place? Are you willing to be a sacrifice? Am I talking to the ego? Alida talked to the ego or to the self-contracted disposition of his devotees for say, forever saying the same thing. Why or why didn't he leave it at, ju at just that instruction? Forget yourself and remember me. Why was that not necessary? Why could that not be all that he said? He was saying what he said. He talked thousands of talks or hundreds of talks because people weren't really interested in God. He often said, no one is talking about God. Why not? Where are my true devotees? Are you disillusioned enough with the world or your life? Are you fed up with being traumatizing this activity? How can you be graced and blessed with the fruits of the spirit if you just if you don't turn away from that which is strangulating God, which is stifling God? How can God be found if this is always in constant motion? The click clack of the perpetual motion machine. It's quite simple really to forget yourself if you simply turn those faculties away. No matter what is arising, turn away from all that's arising. Feeling attention. What are you attracted to? The weeds or that one flower? Can you, can you see, a, imagine a flower bed? I say a flower bed, but it's full of weeds. And there's this one flower. And it's been stifled by the weeds. I have a friend who's a horticulturist and he would get on down on his knees he's almost 90 and he would pull away he would see he would spot this one little flower 
that's been prevented from manifesting itself. It's been hampered by the weeds or the grass around it. So he parts, he parts, he goes around gently around a little plant and that little plant, that little flower could be like a cyclamen little delicate flower, flower and he takes the weeds and the grass he parts so then there's a clearing, there's a space for the flower to come through Can God come through you? Is God, are you allowing God to live your body mind? Don't allow the results of this self-contraction to grow. There's that saying, nip it in the bud. There's, there's the immediacy, the immediacy, immediate sea of turning away from this as soon as you feel it, turning away. But then there's the realising that you've been dramatising this for quite a time. And then you turn away. Best to turn away as soon as you realise you this. The self-contraction is such a the devil. It's so immediate but so is God God is there but God is always already the case God doesn't take birth as it were God is always already the case. It was never born and it will never die. God doesn't need to be nurtured. It's already the case. It's the ego that we keep nurturing. Well done, well done. Let me stroke your back and you can stroke my back. ego is always wanting to be congratulated. God has no image. Sajidana says, there is only God. We like to set people in concrete. Oh, Peter's like this, Philip's like this, Rosemary's like this. We are forever identifying with the results of the ego. The self-contraction. Mm -hmm. 
Ada says is fictitious. He used to say Franklin Jones was a fictitious character. An illusion. Unreal. Small r reality. Happiness is always already the case. Just needs to be uncovered. Stop stopping God from living you. Get out of the way. There is no destiny in God. In that place of self-forgetting, God remembers us. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Then in that seeing, there's only God.